Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please be a witness for that because I made over 200 videos in Shopify customizations and they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So if you have any video requests or any questions, don't hesitate. Just drop me a comment, I will be happy to make a video for you, you don't have to subscribe. Or actually, maybe now you should consider subscribing, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel, I usually share small customizations, but now I will share complete sections, highly customizable sections and widgets that you can add to your Shopify store to make your store look very professional without having to pay that extra bucks or hiring those expensive developers or even paying those Shopify monthly subscription apps that will drain your money because it's not a very good idea for long-term project. But I'll let you decide. Just check out the channel, see the section I'm sharing, then the choice is yours. But in this video, I will show you how to add a custom button on the header on your Shopify store so you can set that custom button to any link you want with any text you want. And I think the best use for it is for location, like your store location, if you have a physical location or something like that. But anyway, it's not my business. My business is to show you how to do that. And that's exactly what I'm about to do in this video. Without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with a completely new team, nothing on it. Then each video I add small things. So by the video 70 or 80, the team will be completely different. But now because this is a different chapter, I think I will reach that level by the video 30 or 40 maximum. For example, as you can see, this reviews carousel right here is a reviews carousel that shows reviews from multiple sources all in one place, which is Google, Facebook, Amazon, Etsy, all in one place and it's filterable. If I click on Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google as you can see. And if I click on Facebook, it will only show me the reviews from Facebook and so on for Amazon and Etsy. And it's highly customizable. You can change the color even for the small like verified icon. Everything is customizable here. So just check out the video for it and see all the option it has. But as I said, what I'm about to show you in this video is adding, oops, oh, you see this one? You know those pop-ups when once you're trying to leave the page, they suddenly show up? That's exactly what, what you saw right now. So with using your own code, you can add that on your Shopify store without having to use any applications and it's highly customizable again. It has this flash sale with the text, you can edit anything here, you can uh, add the timer, you can adjust the timer however you want and you can even set the background for it as a video. Imagine that, a pop-up with a flash sale with a video on it that shows up when the user intend to close the page. What else you need, man? Anyway, let me close this and let me show you how to add a button in here that will be uh, in the header of the website. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously head back to Shopify dashboard. After that, if you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on the three dots on left of customize, then click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And the next thing you're going to do, we need to find a specific file in here. Instead of looking at the files and folders, you might get rid dizzy. Simply use the search bar at the top left corner and type in header and you will see a file called header.liquid and simply click on it a bunch of code will show up, no worries. I will show you in details just like you are a six years old kid, no worries. And again, we need to find another section inside this file. To do that like you are five years old, click on the code just like you want to write something. Then on your keyboard, if you are using Windows, click on Control F. I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt at the bottom of the page in here. Then the next thing you're going to do is scroll down the description box and you will see a website, my website. Click on the link and it will take you to this beautiful page right here. And after that, scroll a little bit down and you will see this code right here. Front of the two dots, as you can see, make sure you do not uh, search for the uh, copy the true dots as well. Just this code, right click, copy, then get back in here and paste it in the search bar so the code will find itself. So click on enter after that. What is going on? It doesn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's This code editor on, in, on Shopify is a little bit buggy. We will use different one. Click on here in case if it did work, congrats. For me, it didn't. So I'm gonna use another one, which is the Google Chrome built-in one. And here is, it did find it. As you can see, so this one did find it. This one, let me close the page. Uh, around the line 227, this one right here, which is the same on my website, 
that I mentioned here, as you can see. So we need to pass in some code front of this line that we did find. So this is our target uh, class name, as you can see. We need to pass in some code front of it here, as you can see. And to find that code, get back to my website, then copy the first one. Copy it simply by clicking on this icon at the top right corner of the code, click on it, then get back in here and simply paste it front of the target class name that I did mention. And wait, we didn't finish yet. So the next thing you're going to do is click on the save button. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. Then we need to find, then we need to find another file. In order to do that, use the search bar again. And again, it's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css and some rarely made, uh, and some custom made team is gonna be custom.css. For me, I know it's base, use base first. I'm sure it's gonna be base in your case too. And after that, scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's huge file. And now at the bottom of the page, we need to create some space to pass in some code. In order to do that, click front of the last thing, in my case is closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new line to pass in our code. And where are you gonna get that code? From my website again, everything. I provide everything, so <laughs> no worries. You see this code right here? Again, use this icon to copy the whole code in it, then get back in here and simply paste it in the space that we did create. After that, let me click on the save button. We'll wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, it's save it. Now we will get back to our Shopify store, reload the page and see what that will do. Let's just reload the page. And here it is, check it out now. As you can see, this is the button. Oh, get away, man, get away. This one, as you can see, is a button. It has a hover effect. And also you can change the hover color as well and the text color and the background color. I did set every color for this button so you can customize it however you want. And obviously you can set the link for it and the link is where we did add hashtag. You see this hashtag sign right here? Replace the hashtag between the quotes with your link and make sure you do not remove the quotes. And that's how you add your own custom button on the header for your Shopify store by using your own custom code. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.